Good evening, friends. I greet you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, the Holy Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Um, I have just one uh, correction in our bulletin uh, for you to make note of. Our opening hymn, uh, when we get around to it, uh, it is 292 in the hymnal, not 492. I apologize for that. Uh, will you please join me in our call to worship? It can be found in your bulletin, and the words are also on the screen. Come, let us join at the table. Come, a place is set for each of us. Come, join the misfits, thieves, and liars. Come, young and old, from near or far. Come, where shame is no longer welcome. Come, where forgiveness and mercy triumph. Let us join at the table. Let us be set free. Come, a new commandment has been given. Come, that we may love one another. That our joy may be full and we may be set free. I invite uh, Pastor Chris Longman from Harbor to share an opening prayer with us. Let us be in a spirit of prayer. Gracious and loving God, we pray to you in the name of your Son and our Savior. In Jesus, you showed us the depth of your love. Thank you for loving us. Teach us to love like you. Teach us to love each other and to love even our enemies like you loved us. In Jesus, we are shown the upside down nature of your kingdom that God arrives for the lost, the least, the littlest, and the dead. Our savior and king took on the form of a servant, washing the feet of his disciples he defined humility and servanthood. Thank you for all the ways that you continue to serve and arrive for us. Teach us to be servants without fail, to make humility our constant companion, and to seek no glory for ourselves. On that solemn evening that we commemorate tonight, Jesus surrounded himself with friends and enemies, persons of faith and persons of ill will. Help us to be able to always emulate our Lord when we are surrounded by our friends and especially when we are surrounded by our enemies. In Christ, you've established a new com commandment. Help us to live it out every moment, in every aspect of our lives, in our families, in our churches, in our communities, and throughout the world, for your glory and for the witness of the risen one. Amen. As children of God, united in Christ, let us join our hearts, minds, and voices as one body in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I invite you to stand as we sing our opening hymn this evening, which is What Wondrous Love Is This? It is number 292 in your hymnal, and the words are also on the screen.
You may be seated. Our scripture reading uh, this evening is broken into three parts. Each part will be read by a different reader. And in between the parts, uh, we are going to sing a verse of the hymn, Yezu, Yezu. Um, that can be found on page 432 of your hymnal if you want to mark that so you are ready uh, when the time comes. Uh, those words will, of course, also be on the screen. Um, and we will sing that as a response to the word. And so I invite our first reader to come forward, Rena, and she will lead us in our prayer for illumination and read our scripture. I invite you to join me in the prayer for illumination, which is printed in the bulletin. Guide us, O God, by your word and Holy Spirit that in your light we may see light, in your truth find freedom, and in your will discover peace. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Our scripture reading is from John's Gospel, the 13th chapter, beginning with the first verse. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already decided that Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, would betray Jesus. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from supper, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, one who has bathed does not need to wash, except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you who are clean, and you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him. For this reason he said, not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, had put on his robe, and had reclined again, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. Verily, truly, I tell you, slaves are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. In response to the word, let us join together in singing verse 2 of Yesu, Yesu.
The third reading is from John 13, verses 31b to 35. Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you should also love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Let us now join together in singing verse 3 of Yesu Yesu. Testing? Okay, good. Christ our Lord invites to his table all who love him, who earnestly repent of their sin, and who seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sin before God and one another. If you will please join me in our responsive prayer of confession, which is included as an insert in your bulletin, and the words are also on the screen. Most merciful God, we, your church, confess that often our spirit has not been that of Christ, where we have failed to love one another as he loves us, where we have pledged loyalty to him with our lips and then betrayed, deserted, or denied him. Forgive us, we pray, and by your spirit, Make us faithful in every time of trial, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Who is in the position to condemn? Only Christ. But Christ suffered and died for us, was raised from the dead and ascended on high for us, and continues to intercede for us. Believe the good news. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to you, Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right. Sorry, guys. It is right, and it is right, and a good and a joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you. From the earth, you bring forth bread, and you create the fruit of the vine. You formed us in your image, delivered us from captivity, and you made covenant to be our sovereign God. You fed us manna in the wilderness, and you gave us grapes as evidence of the promised land. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and we join their unending hymn. 
Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you and blessed is your son, Jesus Christ. When we turned aside from your way and abused your gifts, you gave us in him your crowning gift. Emptying himself that our joy might be full, he fed the hungry, healed the sick, ate with the scorned and forgotten, and taught us how to love by his actions. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, he gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and spirit. On the evening in which he gave himself up for us, Jesus rose from the supper table, took a pitcher of water, poured it into a basin, knelt down, and began to wash the disciples' feet. When he, had, when he has finished, he sat down and spoke with the disciples. He said, I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. That same night, Jesus took bread. He gave thanks to you. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples and said, drink from this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of these your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on all of us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and cup. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood, and called to love one another as Christ loves us. For it is by this love that everyone will know we are his disciples. By your spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church. All honor and glory is yours, almighty God, now and forever. Amen. Before we share in this holy meal together, I have just a few announce, announcements, reminders for you. Um, one is just a reminder that all are welcome at the Lord's table, no matter what you have done, no matter what you have left undone, you are welcome here. God is waiting to share with you his grace at his table. Um, after you have received your cup and you have drank from it, if you can just place it right here in the altar rail uh, for easy disposal, that will be very appreciated. Um, we do have gluten-free crackers. If you have a, a gluten allergy and would still like to uh, participate uh, in Holy Communion, uh, please do just let Chris know and she will give you one. Um, I'm going to invite Carol to come forward um, so that I will not be touching anything. Carol will be serving you today. And Nancy is going to direct uh, the congregation forward. Come and taste the goodness of God.
Let us pray. Eternal God, we give you thanks for this holy mystery in which you have given yourself to us. Grant that we may go into the world in the strength of your spirit to give ourselves for others. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our final hymn is, They'll Know We Are Christians by Our Love. It is found in The Faith We Sing, 2223, um, and the words are also on the screen. Uh, let us stand as we sing together. <laughs> may be seated. At this time, individuals will come forward and they will strip all ornamentation from the altar area until everything is left bare. This stripping of the altar is a stark demonstration for us of the despair of the cross. Even as we know that we will enter into the sanctuary on Easter Sunday, and the altar will once again be vibrant, it will be full of life, just as Jesus is resurrected. But I encourage each of us to take this time to really sit with the enormity of Jesus' sacrifice in freely giving his life for our salvation.
As after I give each of us this blessing, um, just a reminder that at the conclusion of our postlude, uh, please do keep silence, uh, stay in the sanctuary as long as you need, uh, in prayer and in meditation, um, but please do uh, leave silently. Go in peace. May Jesus Christ who for our sake became obedient unto death, even death on a cross, keep you and strengthen you this night and forever. Amen. <laughs>